What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have our very first self-care Sunday video. This is going to be a little thing I'm going to be doing from here on out and I am so freaking excited for it. So we're going to be doing different self-care tasks every Sunday. Some will include certain things, some won't. It's just going to like kind of vary but some things will be similar of course. So today we're going to be doing a little self-care routine. I did wash my hair a few days ago so no hair washing or like doing my hair will be done in this video but I'm sure there will be a video in the future where I will be doing like hair care so definitely stay tuned. It's around 12 p.m. I'm going to hop in the shower in a few. However, I want to try to Two products that I haven't been able to try yet. So that is one, the Mega Bay of Happy Pits Detoxifying Underarm Mask. I really, really want to try this before I go in the shower so that I can just like rinse it out in the shower. And then I also want to use the Coco and Eve Glow Figure Bounce Body Mask on my legs and again rinse this off in the shower as well. But yeah, so we're going to put this on our underarms where tank top so we'll put that on and then we'll put this on my legs afterwards or actually I guess what I could do is I could put this, this on first and when this only has five minutes left then I could put this on that would make the most sense this is literally so dusty like I haven't used it it's been sitting on the shelf in my bathroom like but yeah we're gonna do this and then we're gonna get in the shower exfoliate shave and yeah I'm probably not bringing you guys in the shower but I will show you guys the products that I'm gonna be using for those steps so Hey Siri, set timer for 15 minutes. Guys, my armpits feel stiff and my legs feel stiff. I'm gonna go in the shower and wash this off and I'll insert the products that I use now. When I hopped in the shower, I started with a Dr. Bronner's bar soap and a washcloth for my base clean. Then I exfoliated with this body scrub from TPH. And then for my arms, I used the KP bump scrub from Olay because I do have KP on my arms. Then for the downstairs area, I exfoliated with this European Wax Center exfoliator and some exfoliating gloves. I did have to shave my legs, so I used the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Shave Oil. And this razor is from Amazon. I really like it, it's a five blade razor. Then for my body wash, I used this one from TPH. It's so good and it smells amazing. With that, I just used this silicone body brush, which I love so much, and then I used this feminine wash. After that, I finished with this body oil from L'Occitane. I love this so, so much. It made my skin silky smooth. All right, guys, I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna do a quick skincare because we're actually going to continue this later with like a more in-depth skincare, so I'll end up washing my face again just because I have family coming over, but I wanted to start the self-care routine this morning with like the shower and the body masks and stuff. So for now, I'm just gonna use the Kosas Plump and Juicy Spray and just my first a beauty ultra repair cream which i put in one of these little pump containers that i got off amazon and honestly it's so clutch because with nails it's annoying to like dig my hands and the moisturizer so so later on we'll do a more in-depth skincare and we'll also do body care later i'm gonna probably be uncomfortable but i'm probably gonna wait to put a lotion on because i do need to wax my armpits and my stomach and i'm not gonna put cream on before i do that like you're supposed to do it on dry skin but i genuinely don't have time to wax right now but it's 12 36 p.m and i have family coming over at 1 p.m so we have to just put a pause and continue this later so i'll see you guys in a little bit but really for you guys it'll be the next clip
Alright guys, we are back and ready to do this self-care routine. I just turned on my wax warmer, lit my candles, and now we're going to do a face mask. So I'm going to be using the Caudalie Mask Instant Detox, and this is literally my favorite face mask ever. So we're going to put this on. Before I put that on, I'm just going to use the La Roche-Posay Thermal Water Spray just to like kind of freshen up and hydrate my skin before I put the mask on. I feel like typically I do masks right after the shower, so it's like usually right after I wash my face. But obviously I took a shower a while ago, so we're actually going to put the mask on and wash our face after the mask. I feel like this mask literally clears my pores and just like makes my skin so soft, so glowy, so clear. Like I can't even explain how good this mask is and I'm actually obsessed with it. I obviously only use a face mask once a week and I really don't even do it that often to be honest. I try to do it once a week, but sometimes i do forget but typically i do reach towards this mask out of all of my other masks just because i love it however i also love the inkyless cowling clay mask and it's also a cheaper alternative which is great because this one is not cheap Caudalie's products in general are not cheap however i do really like them so i i would say that they're worth their price some of us obviously don't want to spend almost 50 dollars or maybe is it 50 dollars? i don't even know but some people don't want to spend that much on a face mask which is totally understandable so if you do want a, a cheaper mask that's also going to be really good and kind of have the same effect of like kind of just overall clearing out your pores the inky list is just amazing for that so now this mask has to sit on for 10 to 15 minutes or no 5 to 10 minutes so alexa set timer for 10 minutes and hopefully once my mask is done my wax will be warming up more and then we can wax the armpit all right, I'm going to attempt to take the mask off with this spray and this because someone's in the bathroom. My mom's in the bathroom, so I'm going to go wash it off. All right, I cleaned my skin. Now we're going to do oil on our face and gua sha and then shave our face. So the oil that I'm using is just the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Oil. And I'm just going to put it all over my face. I got it on my pants. And first we're going to gua sha. I always have to make this disclaimer. I do not gua sha correctly. Like I feel like I've tried to learn and I still don't really know if I do it correctly. So just bear with me. I try my best, but you know, it still works. And I think I still have some of this mask under my chin. <laughs> oil to my face and now we're going to dermaplane i honestly don't really know techniques for this either i just do it to like get all the excess like peach fuzz off my face i feel like it helps makeup apply so much smoother and overall just like makes my skin look smoother and feel smooth smoother i know one tip that i have is just use like these little face razors i literally still have the mask all over my nose too you use these little face razors and you want to make sure you use some sort of oil, aloe, something. Or some people I know do it with like face wash. Um, but you just want to make sure your skin isn't dry and you just have to make sure to pull your skin taut while you do it and do it in a downward motion. So I also have like that Dermaflash electric one and I need to like learn how to use it. So maybe in one of my next self-care Sunday videos, I will use it. But for now, we're just going to use this and shave our face. <laughs> my face with the dr dennis gross alpha beta daily facial cleanser and this is aja and bha in it which i love and i'm just gonna get all this oil excess peach fuzz off of my face
All right, I just washed my face. I took my t-shirt off. Now I'm in a sports bra because I'm basically ready to wax my armpits. But I want to put on eye patches while I wax my armpits. But before I do that, I'm actually going to use a facial mask. So I'm just going to go in with the Tire 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray, the SOS Spray. It is so good. I love it. Now that I did that, I'm going to put on these eye patches. These are from the brand Three Ships. And they're their Brighter Days Red Algae and Avocado Biodegradable Eye Masks. So... We're just gonna put these on. I'm always using my Good Molecules ones, and I always forget about these ones, so we're gonna use them today. All right, I'm just going to put it under my eye. All right, and we're just gonna leave these on while I do my armpit waxing. So if you guys don't know, I have been waxing my armpits for over a year now. Literally, I haven't shaved them in so long, and I've honestly gotten a lot better at waxing them. And I think a big part is because I switched my wax. So my wax warmer is from Chess Wellness, and I really like the wax warmer. However, I just realized over time that their wax beads weren't working right for me. So I started buying the towel wax beads, which I will have linked below. They're on my Amazon storefront. I love these wax beads, and it has made all the difference. So I'm gonna explain to you guys in depth how I, how I wax my armpits. I also wax my stomach. I was gonna do it today, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to. So, um, but for now, we're just gonna do our armpits, and they're definitely ready. And they look a little red, and I low key think because I've been using glycolic acid on them um, for odor, sometimes they get a little irritated from that. So, I don't know. But yeah, we need to wax them. So, before we do anything, I'm gonna spray the Trust Wellness Pre Wax Spray. It's just to cleanse and moisturize the area before waxing. So, I'm gonna do that, and then spray the other one, and we're gonna let it dry for a few minutes before we wax and again guys i'm not a professional so i can't sit here and give you guys like in-depth tips about it but i've read a lot of places that you want your wax consistency to be like honey so it's thick but not too thick but also you don't want it too watery because that's when you know it's too hot and it's gonna burn you like right now my wax is definitely too hot and you can just tell because of how it's running so i'm actually not ready yet and i do need it to cool down a little bit more first so i'm gonna let it do that all right guys now i'm gonna apply the body powder i think the wax is ready so i'm gonna put this on both of my armpits i literally use so much and i low-key make a mess when i use it but whatever honestly the more the better this just helps the wax stick and i don't know i don't really know i'm not gonna sit here and give you guys like tips if i don't really know what i'm talking about so but anyways let's get into this wax the consistency still looks kind of runny all right here we go Oh no, it's perfect. It's not too hot. My application is like very not the best. Like some days I'll have a good application, but usually the first strip is never good for me. But you want to make sure that when you're applying the wax to like apply it with pressure and not super lightly because you want to make sure it's really, really catching all the hairs so that you have to do less strips. And then usually I'll like curve out the bottom so I can get a little tab, but I don't really do a good tab this time. Actually, that was a pretty good strip. Can you guys see this? Like, that's gross. Okay. All right. Let's do another strip. So now you're going to apply in the opposite direction. So I would make the tab go at the top this time. Except I'm not really doing a good job. Yeah, I did not do a good job with the tab being on top. Okay. This one was good. All right. And now I'm just going to spray the after wax spray, which is like more of an oily one. And it just soothes the area. I'm going to do this side and then I'll talk to you guys after.
right guys i finished waxing i'm gonna take the eye patches off not gonna lie i feel like i might need to buy a new wax warmer because the one i have recently it's been saying it's on a lower temperature but then like i use it and it's way too hot and then like it'll all of a sudden change and it'll show that it's too high of a temperature so i don't know that can be kind of dangerous obviously because i'm not trying to get burnt but anyways we're gonna finish the rest of our skincare so i'm gonna go in with my favorite bows on squalene and copper peptide plumping serum and since I shaved my face, I'm keeping the skincare very simple tonight. So I'm going to do my CeraVe eye cream. And then I'm just going to take my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, which I put in this little container here. And then just my Fenty Beauty Lip Mask. And that's it for my skincare. I'm going to clean up a little bit and then we're going to do our body care. All right, guys. So for body care, I'm going to be using the European Wax Center Slow Body Lotion. This is the fragrance-free one. This is going to be for the downstairs area. Then for the rest of my body, I'm going to be using the Watch Me Whip Vanilla and Tuberose Niacinamide Body Butter. This is from Body by TPH. I love her line so much. And then in the drier areas of my body and like my legs, since I just shaved my legs, I'm going to be using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Body Oil. So I'm going to go put that on and then we'll be back. to lay in my bed i'm on the last episode of jenny and georgia so good um but i'm ready to go to sleep it's sunday so i have work tomorrow honestly doing this little self-care routine just like put me in a good mood for the work week and i think it's gonna be good um, i definitely am excited to make these videos let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas that i can incorporate into these self-care videos maybe in the future i'll try to like add my shower routine into the video a little bit more in depth but it's definitely gonna take <laughs> It's definitely going to take a little bit of more time, so it definitely won't be in every video. But yeah, and Brandon's back there. We're about to lay in bed. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that subscribe button, comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.